a very pretty stitch and I'm calling it lace spikes and I'm using the needles that the yarn calls for so this is a thin number four and I'm using number seven knitting needles and this is a 16 stitch plus three and that would be the repetition so I have two repetitions here but if you wanted to make only one of the spikes that would be a multiple of eight plus three but we're making these three here and we're repeating them so let's do row number one we're going to knit one then yarn over slide slide and knit and knit six one two three four five six so we repeat that again yarn over slide slide and knit and knit six one two three four five six yarn over slide slide and knit and knit six one two three four five six again yarn over slide slide and knit and knit six one two three four five six and we're going to end by yarn over slide slide and knit okay rows all the even number rows are all purl so I will purl the next row and I'll see you on row number three okay so now rows three five seven and nine are all the same so I'm going to do that now I am going to knit two stitches yarn over and this is where the repetition starts I knit two so I slide two stitches knit one and the two that I slid go over that one so now I knit two yarn over knit one and yarn over so let's do the repetition again knit two slip two knit one and the two that I slipped go over that one knit two yarn over knit one and yarn over let's do that again I knit two stitches slip two knit one pass the slipped stitches over that last one knit two stitches yarn over knit one and yarn over now the last nine stitches two four six eight nine are going to be knit two slip two knit one pass the two over the last one knit two yarn over and knit two so all even number rows are all purl 
So now repeating what I said before, rows 3, 5, 7 and 9 are the same and all even number rows are all pearl. So now we're going to go and do row number 11 and this is how it goes. You're going to knit 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this is where the repetition starts. Yarn over, slide, slide and knit and knit 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Again, yarn over, slide, slide, knit, and knit 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Again, yarn over, slide, slide, and knit. And knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, slide, no, yarn over, slide, slide, knit, and knit the last four. One, two, three, and four. And next row, we purl. So now, rows 13, 15, 17, and 19 are all the same. And let's do that. We're going to knit one and knit two stitches together. And this is where the repetition starts. Knit two, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two, slide two stitches together, knit one, and pass those two stitches over the last one, and let's do that again, knit two, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two, slide two stitches, knit one and pass those two stitches over the last one and we repeat that, knit two, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two, slide two stitches, knit one and pass those two stitches over and let's do that again because it's the last eight. So the last eight stitches, two, four, six, eight, is going to be as follows, knit two, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two, slide, slide, knit, and knit one. And then we repeat this row for 15, 17, and 19, and I'll be back. So here we are, I bend off uh, right after row 20. Now if you want to bind off earlier, you can bind off after row 10. So this is the way it looks. I have the two repetitions. I have 35 stitches here, which is two repetitions of the stitch here, 16 and 16, make 32, plus 3, it's 35. So this is the way it looks. Thank you for watching. Share us with your friends and like our page. Please subscribe and I will see you next time.